Okay, out here tinkering around on cars. And I actually just got the call. Hi, kitty. How you doing? She's a hot kitty. Breeder don't like her, but this is going out. Yeehaw. Sold and cheap. And I'm herp herping. I'm hoping you can hear me over the wind. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And just so you know, hipstercars.com. I put that website up to where you could subscribe there and see a list of a lot of the cars that I don't have up in a video form or pictures even yet some of them um, and you can also subscribe to that channel on YouTube there will be lots and lots of videos on there in fact I think there's already half a dozen of them on there and I think what I'm gonna do is make the one owner car guy my preview YouTube channel and the hipster cars my full on 30 40 50 minute videos and the cereal marshmallows I'll keep uploading exterior interior test drive I'll edit those together and put those on hipster cars so I'm trying to clean up my cereal marshmallows channel a bit, make it nicer um, more relevant whatever some of the travel videos I have really Rethunk, yes, rethunk the way that I'm going to be doing them. Um, should be, hey now, should be a lot more interesting in the future. Sell this thing and back it into my W140 wouldn't be such a happy moment. Okay, we're ready for him. Except for a checkbook. Oh yeah. I gotta pay for this. Hey man, that's pretty cold AC. I think it is cold. It's cold AC, man. That's nice. I don't want to get out now. I really don't. It's nice in here. Damn, that one don't got AC and I've been driving it. This is nice. Horn don't work. The wiper works, but the horn don't blow. Look at that. Somebody did that at the auction. Or at my place. Even worse. Never think, you can tell things never been smoked in. Somebody jerk did that. They should be ostracized from society. Really, that's just ridiculous. One on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. You're getting ready to get rid of the Simo Ron. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, how are you? Where are you coming from? Uh, I need to pick up those cars there. No, I know what you're picking up. Where are you coming from? What's uh, your... From Temecula. Temecula, that's where you're located? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, you already looked at it? Oh, yeah. So do you haul between auctions too? Can I get you to bring them down from Mannheim for me? Oh yeah. What do you have? Uh, eight car, three car, or what? Uh, uh, yeah, nine or ten car, whatever you want. So you have the big one. You, so you're located in Temecula. Yeah. So if I have a couple at Mannheim, California, a couple at Riverside, yeah, you can whatever, bring them all yeah. down. Yeah, I come back down. Now are you taking this back to Temecula and then they're picking it up from you and taking it out? No, no, no. That you're one, taking this all the way? Yeah, all the way, yeah. I need to pick up cars in... Mississippi, or where is this going? I know, just go to Portland. Portland, you're going yeah. all the way up to Portland, huh? Yeah, yeah, now I'll go to San Diego, pick up cars, and yeah, go I'll, and pick, pick up and... I'll have to get a card from you before you go. Okay. Oh, let me, oh, let me get the, the big number. Then I'll give you a ride over there. Yeah. Actually, can you pull the gate, just kind of pull it closed after I pull it out, and then I'll give you a ride? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 
Okay, if you need something, uh, whatever you need, uh, call me. Okay. This is the send me an email or whatever it is. Right. Right. You need my 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 phone number. Well, no. I said if you close the gate, I'll give you a ride over there. Oh, okay. You can't take it. Hang on. Oh. oh, oh. No, it's got dealer plates. I have to drive it. Oh. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll drive you. I'll drive you over there. Okay. I'm going to. Someone took all the gas out of it. Oh. So I am going to put a gallon in here at the gas station yeah. Yeah. to where you don't have a problem. Yeah, Because yeah. you might pull it off the truck. Or oh, yeah. Off, so I don't know. So. Transdonic is in the middle of the way. <laughs> no more gas, dude. <laughs> and that's a pain, I know. Yeah. I hope I got the right side. Yeah. No. I <laughs> have wrong oh, side. Okay. You rise again, the gas, yeah? Yeah, it's one up again. In Montana, it is... Uh, two dollars and sixty or two forty-five. The, the regular gas. Yeah. Oh, a lot less. Mm. You're empty. Oh yeah, now it's empty. And you pick up more car in San Diego, Laguna Hills, and tomorrow in Los Angeles. Plenty of gas and the um, the gauge wasn't working. Well, now he's got plenty of gas. You got my ringer. You what? That's the same as my phone. Oh Okay, well that's it. <clears throat> Cinemaron, heading out. Nice car, dent the side, couple dings and stuff. It's got its little issues here and there. I did the full review of it and such, but it is awfully nice. Little gas sipping, V6 having. Look at the interior, just clean as can be. These were kind of a ripoff maybe when they were new. Wow. That's odd. But as a used car, jeez. Awesome. Okay, well, that is the, the walk around that I'm doing. We'll see ya. Hey. Have fun. Okay, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And I've got one more. M&A River Trucking. It's a 379 Long Hood, I think that's called. I don't know. I like the longer hood peeps like that. Okay. I'm right there. But the only way to get there is around here. I hope you can hear with the wind. Oh, there's actually gate access there. For what? But look. This right here is what goes all the way down by me. Wow. Concrete pipe? Probably a 
encased a regular pipe. Well, like I say, this will be kind of a point for me will be the end of this month, which right now it's May 12th. And at the end of this month, I'm just gonna have a totally different kind of content coming up. Um, I'm kind of redoing a lot of how I do things and I want to give it the best shot that I can for having a nice, fun, interactive channel and a great fast paced video. So a lot of it comes down to doing a bit more editing, being alone on doing all the work and then doing all the editing too isn't the easiest, but I'm going to work something out here. That's all there is to it. So, another one bites the dust. Honestly, it'll be nice to get about 80 more gone. 80 more. Yeah. That'll be everyone at my main big block. Up, up, up where I showed all the park car walk arounds up by there. And then That'd be all of them and hell, everything at my mom's and half of these here. That'd be great. That'd leave me about 20 cars on this side. Plus, yeah, about 30 down here would be nice. And about 30 or 40 in Montana. So an average inventory of 65 to 75 is nice for me. A couple years ago, it almost hit 300. And with no help, it's not gonna happen again. And I don't want it to happen again because help is pitiful. And you can't find anybody who actually wants to work into a long-term thing and improve. The people I had that were long-term wanted more money, wanted this, wanted that. But then on the other end, they just wanted to be a warm body. And all they wanted to do was come in and show up. I signed people up for online classes to learn how to do stuff on. I just locked myself out of my own place. I sure did. Ugh. Can you believe it? I locked myself out of here. I can believe it because I just did it. Damn it. Yeah, I don't even know what I was talking about. That changed my whole, oh, motive. I did that on purpose. Although I didn't have my keys with me because I wasn't gonna be here. So, point of this video, different stuff. I had people that, when you hire friends or become friends with people, it definitely changes the way things go. And you start accepting their shortcomings because, oh, you're friends and you trust them, right? Yeah. So, like I say, I signed people up with classes. People couldn't even sign on once a week to take a class online to learn YouTube. I just finished another five week compare, uh, class actually having to drive two and a half hours each way to go to the classes. So, I mean, there's no excuse for poor performance and that's what I get with most people I hire I'm not looking to hire I'm looking to downsize and basically do more by doing less hey now okay well thanks for watching have a great day or night I gotta get back to working on that Mercedes I gotta check on breeder and Gray just came home check out greatcongo.com check out beaglespocket.com and check out hipstercars.com thanks for watching we'll talk to you